Well, ha ha ha, you amazing beautiful people, how you doing? Welcome back to another anime reaction video. So, all of you have asked me to react to a couple of anime openings. There's been one that you guys were recommending, which is the creator of Hunter x Hunter. So we're going to do that one in a few days, but... Before we do that one, all of you asked me to react to the Inuasha openings, and that's what we're going to do. I managed to find a playlist that has all six openings, so let's do it. I know this is an older anime, but it does come highly recommended, actually. So is it good? Would I enjoy it? Maybe we could watch it. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Like the video. Subscribe for more. Make sure you subscribe to GOT Extra so we can hit that 50,000 subscriber goal on that channel as well. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Inuasha's anime opening. I want to Ah, I know this one. I think we've reacted to the first one, right? I know this song. This is in like every top 100 anime openings list ever. I love that it's got like sound effects as well in the opening. This is random. <laughs> Man, this is very random. They got sound effects in the openings? What? They're like proper crazy sound effects as well. Like proper old school, just insane. Why is the person on the boat like, it looks like they've been zapped by a shrink ray. It looks like a full grown human being that's one V tall. You've got like a samurai looking cat girl or a cat guy could be a cat dude but I swear the other person was in like a school was the other person in like a school outfit I did, I, I, it's always like trying to find out like a time period is always is always interesting when you just go in from the openings but I swear the other person was in like a normal looking school outfit but it looks like a sort of older uh, dated anime right very nice little touch to have like the leaf stuck to the foot actually a very nice touch see look that person's in like a fucking school outfit man like a like a modern school outfit They love it in anime, where they have these uh, random creatures with multiple ta tails. Like, every fucking anime has has a random creature with multiple tails, man. Every anime that has, like, mystical creatures. And I know you're asking me, like, well, name some, Luke. And I can think of three, okay? <laughs> Pokemon, Slime, Inuasha. Now, I know three isn't every anime, but it's close. It's close. <laughs> it's close, you know? It's just a few off. Um, the opening is awesome. It's a really nice song. I've heard uh, the I want to change the world like that the, that line like a million times at this point, right? It's in everyone's anime opening compilation list. It's in the top 100 anime openings all the time. It's always there. It's incredibly popular. I've heard it loads of times. I have no idea what time period it is. I didn't notice the last time I reacted to the first one because I've only ever heard the first one. That there's literally like a modern looking schoolgirl. And then everyone else looks like mystical and fantasy based. Like there's like a creature on fire, a person in like full armor and stuff. So is it like a time traveling sort of thing? Or is it just coincidentally back in the day that was what a school uniform looked like? Kind of hard to tell. Not really sure. Also the fact that there's like full blown sound effects. Very random. But you know what? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. In your Asher, man. In your Asher. Everyone who's seen this says it's really good. I, I would like to watch some more older anime. I think it could be kind of fun. Let's check out the second opening. See, look, a scoop from a scoop outfit. Fucking hell. I've noticed this character has a sheaf. I'm guessing that sword, not for that sheaf. I love that you have like everyone it, it must be a time traveling thing maybe it's a freaking isekai it must be 
It must be. Also, it just made me realize that in most of Seikai, the people that like get reincarnated go with their clothes. I've just realized that. Huh. That's the thing. In Slime, very regular thing to be fully dressed. Um, so it could be in a Seikai, maybe? I don't know. It just, she just seems a little bit out of place. What the hell was that behind her? Is that like a two-headed hyena horse or some shit? What the fuck is that? The little dude with the stick looks like Moggy from uh, Black Cauldron. I love that there's sound effects as well. What are those evil looking wasps? The music's really good, by the way. It's very fast-paced. It's like kind of like poppy and fun. Um, very old school and retro, but like really just like really fun. Fun is the best word. I I don't think I'm trying to think of another anime opening I can think of where they have like full-blown sound effects like to this level. I don't. I can't think of one. This is a new one for me. What's on the back? Is that boomerang? Is that giant boomerang? Wait. Is that the tailed creature? That's the tailed creature. It, and in every fucking anime, the tailed creature always gets bigger. For all three of the ones I mentioned, the tailed creature gets bigger. Why is this a thing? Also, is that a giant raccoon? It is, isn't it? That's a giant raccoon, like, <laughs> just chilling there. <laughs> Alright, Inuasha. Inuasha follows the story of <clears throat> young girl who is reincarnated into a world where there is, is the never-ending story world, but the anime version. And they must fight together to battle the nothing. There don't seem to be any bad guys or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Am I close? I think I nailed it, right? That's what I'm guessing from the first two openings. The songs are very nice. The, both the songs, like, have a sort of similar sort of style to them, which I always like because it's, um, like, you, how do I word this? You either have a playlist of songs in the openings that follow the theme of the show, or you have ones that adapt and change based on the seasons of the show. And you see that kind of with like an anime like Naruto, where they go from like happy, fun to like dark, and, and it sort of changes. Obviously, I haven't seen Naruto, so I can't judge. But based on the the, the like the way the openings work, that's my guess. Um, I would I was I can't the anime I have seen I can't really use as an example because I can't think of an anime I've seen that, that that's that long that does that. Um, but yeah, I wonder if uh, I wonder if we're gonna see a change up in the like emotion of Inuyasha because at the moment it seems fun. Like hearted, a fun anime, a bit like retro, and the freaking openings that give me that kind of vibe. It seems like an anime that you would watch, and it's gonna put a smile on your face. That's what I'm getting, like a, like a, an adventure, like literally like never ending story, but the anime. That's what I'm getting from it. Check out opening three. <laughs> It's weird because when that sword gets big, it then has like a, a fur um, hilt, which is something you would sort of. I don't know. Is that. Was that a Japanese thing as well? I know the um, Mongolians were quite fond of fur hilts, but I didn't know it was like a thing in. in um, the boomerang's really rad. The sound effects, man. Beyblade crossover. What was that? Was that person forced to the ground? It looked like some sort of force pulled them to the ground, made them head by the ground. What the fuck was that? I'm liking the song. It's kind of got like a punk 2000s feel to it. Yeah, <laughs> he got slapped. 
<laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing this dude is like some sort of creep because he did the weird creepy thing that like uh, Kazuma did in Konosuba with his hand and uh, she gave him like an angry face. Maybe he'd been touching something he shouldn't have been touching and then whoosh, he got one of those. He got red mark on his face. Oh, the person's got two swords now? The sound effects, man! That stick's got a head on the end of it, man. This is a fucking Game of Thrones. Look at this. Oh, that's a head. That's a head. <laughs> God, this song is probably my favorite song from the opening so far. It's a really good one. So the sword can change its appearance. I'm really liking the feel of these openings, by the way. They've got like a real nice feel to them. All, all three of them so far have had it. Like a real like, a real like weird, I haven't even seen it and I can feel the, like the nostalgia from it. Is that the weird, is that like an upgraded version of the weird two-headed creature we noticed in the background earlier? Um, so this fantasy world that they're in has like multiple different creatures, like very weird ones as well. And uh, multiple different settings as well. Time regions too. Could be something similar to what we've seen with Demon Slayer. Where based on the region, it uh, changes the technology, you know. Which is historically accurate. But I don't think that's the case. The main thing that's throwing me off is the school uniform. It just seems incredibly modern. Which does make me think that maybe this person's in a, been taken to a different world. It could be. It could be an Isekai. It could just be that simple. Um... <clears throat> I always find it interesting in a lot of Isekai when uh, they don't change outfits, you know? She's just a schoolgirl the whole time. You would think she would switch into something a bit more practical than a short little a skirt, you know? I'm just saying. <laughs> but you know what? How would we tell them apart? I mean, look at The Simpsons. They kept the same character uniforms forever. You know, South Park, same thing. Um, that's all I can compare it to. <laughs> I think that opening was my favorite in terms of the song. That was really cool. Gave me like a 2000s kind of punk vibe. Really liked the singer. Liked the feel of it. Um, that one was probably my favorite song. The rest of the openings are all two minutes long. I wonder why that is. Let's check out opening four. What's going on here? I'm guessing... Um, Wait, is this person change sizes? I'm guessing not having subtitles is probably going to save me from a lot of spoilers right now. <laughs> That's Moggy from uh, Goblin Slayer. You know what's funny is, I hated my school uniform. Like, it, I would change out of it the second I got home. So it's interesting that so many people in anime seem to love it and just stay in it like the whole time. Maybe that's just me. Maybe most people love their school uniform. Oh shit! We saw some gore then. That's curious. Beautiful scene. We're seeing some villains now, it seems like. We got these big dudes, these scary looking dudes. We got some villains! We got we got some villains! We got some villains. We got we're seeing more combat. We're seeing more villains. The plot is coming together, people. Did that motherfucker have a bazooka? <laughs> what the hell is this? Did that dude have a bazooka? We got Wolverine. Actually, this is more Freddy Krueger, right? That person had five claws. Wolverine has three.
this anime opening has such an 80s feel to it. It's crazy. And I guarantee this did not come out in the 80s. But the song feels so fucking 80s. Like, it feels like it could be in Stranger Things, which I love, by the way. My favorite decade of music to randomly listen to in, like, my own time is at the 80s. Um, I've also randomly started listening to GTA radios, like, GTA playlists and radios. I'm really listening. I've been listening to Vice City FM, um, Los Santos Rock Radio, Nonstop Pop. I'm not even joking, by the way. And like the GTA radio stations are amazing. And one of my favorite things to do is when I have people in my car who uh, who um, aren't my family. Well, like my, you know, the people in this house, basically. I'll put on a, G a GTA radio station and it will have like the like ads and everything from GTA and just watch their faces. And they're like, they think when they're listening to the radio and then some weird ad will come on. They'll be like, what the fuck is this? And it's, it's brilliant. I did it with my wife's friend. We like, um, we, we took my son to snowboard and she came with us the other day. And um, and I had GTA radio station on, and they were talking. There's one radio where they're talking about like stealing water from uh, from Canada or something like that. And she was like so confused. It was amazing. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. But yeah, this opening very 80s. I like that the um, the openings all end on these random shots like this. Oh god, that reminds me of those old snake toys. That's what that looks like. Well, the, the one on the floor, that old snake toy that you'd like hold and it would like move on its own. You remember those snake toys? They were like, they were weirdly designed. Do you still get them? Man, being a kid was like, being a kid in the past was so much better than being a kid now. Like you really have to look for like the cool toys. Everything's modernized and tech and technological and bleh. Like, um, like I remember like, uh, like going to like a Woolworths and there'd be like all these crazy toys and, and there'd be like a pick and mix aisle and everything like that. Man, I'm sounding old. I'm sounding old, but man, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, yeah, every single song so far has been very, very nice. I haven't had one that I haven't liked. I'm liking the old school retro style of it. I'm liking the look of the anime. It seems wholesome and fun and sweet. It seems like one that's just going to put a big smiley face. Honestly, and you actually kind of crushing him. I'm just kind of crushing him. Opening five. Five. <laughs> I do apologize. Now, you guys may not know this, but I speak every language in the world flawlessly. That's true. It's true. It's true. What do you mean I'm lying? Of course I'm not lying. Why would I make that up? Anyway, so I can completely understand what's being said here. Um, I apologize that for you who aren't uh, Japanese speaking, you won't be able to understand, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm definitely not lying. What do you mean? They were mostly talking about the, the big hat, the big blue hat at the end. And how amazing it was and what a good deal it was. There's a really nice art. Like, uh, there's a really, like, nice artistic nature to older and more retro anime and how they approach the illustrations and the animation on older anime. It's, like, it's almost like a painting, you know? There's a real nice art to it. Well, that guy looks like Megatron from Transformers World. It's Killua! What's it? What's the, what's the name of that fucking fire pony in Pokemon? What's it called? What's it called? My knowledge of Pokemon got a lot better when I started following Randy's Pokemon channel on YouTube and that's about it. Because I don't really know much about Pokemon other than I saw the movies when I was younger. I used to collect Pokemon cards when I was very, very young and that is about it. But there was, there's a fire horse. It's not Ponita, is it? Isn't that something different? Well, that character looks badass. Is that the... Is that the same one that wears the red? Is that, the, is that that one? Fucking hell! God, I love the sound effects in the opening. The first three openings were like 
happy, 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 fun. Let's explore this world and have a great time. The last two, and I'm guessing the last one, have all been battle, 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 war, fight. Let's go. Did that wasp have two heads or two eyes? What the hell's the deal with these, like, creature creations, man? They look freaky as hell. Um, I literally my last the last opening we just reacted to I said I really like these random endings that one I didn't like that one was freaky that one was a weird looking ending there I don't know about that one. Yeah, now everything's kicked off in the world of Inuasha Everything's kicked off everyone's fighting everyone's kicking everyone's ass people are getting zapped by by stuff people are getting shocked by stuff Everyone's losing their minds. I don't know what's happened, but this used to be a calm place It used to be a happy place and now it's just full of violence and brutality. And you know what? That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All the openings have been great. I've had a good time, man. O opening six. Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Ah. Oh, yes. What's the deal with like the freaking cha cha romba style music we got playing right now? Oh, it matches the actual opening. Sounds a bit more Latin. Zan, is that you? This opening so far out of all of them we've seen. I thought these two characters look familiar. What the, what the, what's their deal? Um, is the most different. The other five all kind of feel similar with each other. This one has a completely different nature to it. Despite the fact that it seems like everything's still kicking off. We've got these wasps and these fights and all things going on. This one feels fun. This one's got like a proper like, let's get up and, and I don't know, do, do the salsa or something. <laughs> Part's kind of Mortal Kombat. Does she have like seaweed wrapped around her leg then or a second ago? Um, so this character, despite what happens, remains in the school uniform. Fair enough. Um, what the fuck is the story? My guess, reincarnation, something like that, into a fantasy world. There's some battles going on. That's about it, right? That's about it. Sound effects the best. Ram to the little dude with the head stick. There he is. Where's his weird head stick? You've gotta love, you've gotta love the anime I'm sleeping effect, you know? They love doing it, they love doing it. It's like that weird nosebleed thing, <clears throat> you know? When someone sees someone they like think is attractive and their nose just explodes and like, ah! It's like that. Same thing in, in anime or like even old cartoons here in England when someone's sleeping for some reason They get like a giant snot bubble and it's supposed to signify that they are sleeping You know, we, we know they're sleeping. Oh look, they got a snot bubble. They must be sleeping. I I know that's actually a thing as well <laughs> But mainly on kids, but you see on adults in anime, too um, All right, the Inuasha openings. What do we think? What do we think? This is my overall opinion very fun very fun. I feel like this anime is a happy, relaxing, feel-good anime. I imagine I'm completely wrong and it's just brutal, heartbreaking, and one of the most devastating things I'm ever going to watch. But I'm not getting that vibe from it at all. If that is the case, the openings have completely misled me. Um, it feels very happy. It feels very fun. It's got that sort of like... Uh, it almost feels maybe like a studio, old, old studio sort of Ghibli sort of energy. Um, 
Like, that's what I'm sort of getting from it. Which, by the way, coincidentally, we are watching a Studio Ghibli movie this Saturday live on Twitch. We're going to be watching Castle in the Sky. If you want to join me for that, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. But yeah, it gives me that kind of vibe, you know? That older kind of nature, that more artistic nature. Everything looks a bit wacky and a bit weird. The monsters, the creatures are a bit unusual and bizarre. And that's what Inuasha kind of feels like. It feels like everything is a bit odd, a bit different, a bit off, you know? A bit Tim Burton-esque. That's sort of what it feels like. Everything, every creature is going to be a bit bizarre. Um, and I imagine it is just like a simple reincarnation or something like that based on the girl wearing a complete modernized school uniform and hanging around a fantasy dress big characters. It looks fun, it looks nice, and it looks like I'd be watching this entire anime with a big smile on my face. Are there six seasons of it? How does it work with the openings? Is it big? Is it finished? Do you think I would enjoy it? What do you guys think of Inuasha? And what's your favorite opening? I think for me, my favorite opening would probably be opening three. Um, just in terms of music alone, I think opening three was pretty banging. And that is it. And that is it from me. You can check out the links to all the openings I just reacted to in the description. Inuasha. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I can see why. Hmm. Maybe we'll watch this one day. Be nice to watch an old anime. Like a proper old anime. Is Inuasha that old? Looks a little bit old. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you keep an eye on the YouTube community tabs for the votes uh, for the anime that's going to be replacing Hunter x Hunter. And make sure you're following me on Twitch. As well as subscribe to GOT Extra. And if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of August... We're going to get a brand new anime slot. I don't think you guys can do it. I've said this from the beginning. I don't think you guys can do it, but you're doing well. The GOT Extra channel is going up about 100 subs a day, but that isn't enough. If you guys want to pick a brand new anime series, you need to be subscribed to that channel. Right. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.